Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to do a pick a card reading on what are you manifesting right now? And I feel really, okay, so there was a whole light language track that actually came through for me right after the eclipse we just had in Libra, the solar eclipse we just had in Libra. So it really is this track that's about helping you to manifest and helping to get into that frequency of like magnetism and when you pull energy in from the universe and you manifest it. So I know that I've done a lot of work, I've done a lot of work on clearing energy and removing you know energy blocks or energy cords or um, releasing trauma you know I feel like I've done so much on that so spirit wanted to balance things out and bring in more of a manifestation track more of a work with the energy to uplift to to inspire to bring you into that place of magnetism now when I was working with it, I also felt a lot of threads it felt like it was a thread weaving manifestation track so really like you know we, we weave the oh god every time I start getting passionate start hitting my elbow on something okay <laughs> we start weaving you know um our life together like a tapestry and it was bringing in a really positive kind of um creative like weaving you know the light language coming in like almost weaving things around changing re rearranging things so I wanted to tell you about it because I've just <laughs> released this new track and I'm really enjoying the energy of it it's very different to you know, my intentions in the past, like I said, has been more about clearing energy and trauma release. And that's the work that I'm still doing with my weekly light language group, which the information is down below if you want to know more about that. And yeah, so it's a different kind of track. Now, the one thing I'll say is that it is a manifestation track. So it will bring a magn like a magnifying energy. So it might, it might not always be the right one if you're trying to clear a really heavy or dense energy. I think that it will help to raise your frequency, but it can also magnify things a little bit. That's what I was getting. It was almost like a magnifying, like the energy of Jupiter, like the energy of bringing, enlarging things, making it big, expanding it. So I would say use it with your manifestation, use it to manifest, give yourself, you know, um, the space to to really set an intention before you start working with it and allow that intention to kind of be rooted and planted so that you know what you are magnifying because i don't want you to use it <laughs> um, and magnify an energy that might be a little bit unpleasant right so you want to really guide the light language is what i feel with this one like to help yourself to manifest and magnify that thing that you're trying to manifest so always manifest in the positive as well is what i would say like manifesting um i have this or in a positive way um rather than saying i want to not feel pain it's like i want to feel free and embodied and alive right so you're magnifying the positive things that you want rather than saying i want to get rid of this negative thing saying I want to positively magnify love and peace and health and um, harmony and freedom. So using the positive to manifest, that's what I'm, what I'm hoping is really coming through <laughs> as I'm talking. Um, so there are a lot of different tracks you can use or light language healings you can use when you do need to clear energy. And if you guys really want a cord cutting meditation with light language, um, I could make one of them maybe <laughs> I was thinking about maybe doing that one but I was like maybe I've done a lot of cord cutting already I'm not sure if we really need that still but I know everyone's at different points so anyway this is like a thread weaving you know we're weaving the energy so again work with it with your intentions in the positive set intentions for like I said positive things like freedom instead of negative things like I don't want to feel x y and z it's like I want to feel this this and this and then it will bring that it will expand it will manifest it will make it bigger and it will help it will really help to um yeah manifest things for you <laughs> like I said and okay so I think that is pretty much all the information that came through I will link it down below the new track I've released so you can go read about it if you want to know more and then I will let you take a look at the cards we're working with Mika's deck again and yeah I'll let you see the cards and then I'll see you for your reading much love you guys
Okay, hello group number one. So this is your reading. You chose creative frequency. And I'm getting a strong sacral chakra energy from this card. You see the lower back, the sacrum area is highlighted and there's so much orange and it's just, yeah. So I feel like you are manifesting a rebirth in your life. You're manifesting it. So you're not quite being reborn right now though. There's like a phase be before the rebirth that you're in, you know, the um, gestation phase, the you're in the womb of creation right now. Is what I'm getting and you're manifesting a rebirth a totally different experience of life is coming through you a totally different frequency see this creative frequency a totally different frequency is coming through you so as this frequency starts to come through you more and more I'm just seeing so much change happening I'm seeing you just yeah you, you really are gonna be reborn because the energy feels so fresh you know, you think of birth and there's the, the baby, is there's this new life, right? The baby has a new life, a blank slate almost, you know, of, of what you could grow up and into. So there's something about this for you, like you're entering a cycle where you really are truly being reborn and you're going to have a very fresh experience of life, maybe something you have not experienced before. Very likely, actually, you will not have experienced this before <laughs> because it's, it's taking you higher to like a new level. So, yeah, you've never experienced this before. So there is a, a, an energy that's very new to this, but it's also very, there's something very honest about it, you know. Sorry, you know, I don't always want to hold the card up, <laughs> but there's something very honest about it because I feel like, I don't know, I'm getting a sense where you've, you've come from healing something. You've come from some kind of vulnerability, like, I'm seeing maybe you've left some kind of negative relationship or experience of life, like a really negative job, some kind, some kind of a toxic environment, okay? You've left some kind of a toxic environment behind and it wasn't easy for you to do so. And in doing that, it's like you're actually giving yourself the opportunity to detoxify from that toxic environment but I'm getting the toxic environment was very much relationships the people there were toxic for you and for your soul and for your own energy so you've had to leave behind some kind of relationship some kind of environment like I said a workplace a family a friend a relation like a romantic partner there's something about you've given yourself the space spirit is saying like you left something that was toxic behind so you gave yourself the space to heal and you put yourself into an environment in which you could heal and spirit is saying like you were in such a toxic environment that it was really like damaging to to you like there was some kind of damage that was almost done a little bit like and that's what you're healing from like there's some regeneration in this kind of womb space that you're in you're regenerating you're regenerating you're healing the things that were like taken from you that I'm seeing you were really like sucked dry like there was an energy vampire energy here where you were taken from in a very unfair way there was some kind of um very toxic energy like you know narcissistic abuse is kind of the energy I'm getting where it's like a very strong energy vampire that can really wreak havoc on the energy field and so it's like you had to take yourself you had to protect yourself and so you had to take yourself away from that environment that person that whatever it was that workplace and you had to put yourself into like some kind of a protected you know like a protected little sanctuary a protected little kind of like a womb like, <laughs> like a little safe space where you could unravel from what was like done to you like because I'm really seeing a very negative energy it's a very strong dark energy that you were exposed to within this situation or circumstance or relationship and yeah I'm just sending you loving energy and healing for that experience because I'm just seeing that it really took from you you know it really took something from you but not that it's going to it's not going to take something from you in the long term, right? Because you've taken yourself out of that. So you're reclaiming your power and you're protecting yourself and you're doing like the right thing. You know, you're really doing the right thing. 
So spirit wants you to know that um, because sometimes maybe you might have a little bit of like a split feeling about it. You might sometimes go into a feeling in your mind of like, oh, did I do the wrong thing? Am I, am I the one at fault here? And you might get a little bit twisted and like allow yourself to kind of be manipulated again into um, not trusting that you really did make the right decision. So there's something very, very new coming in for you because you have taken yourself out of, like I said, a very, very toxic situation that was really, really drawing your energy from you and sucking you dry, really. Like it's a very dark, like merciless kind of energy vampire is what I'm getting the energy from. And this dynamic was very confusing I'm getting to come out of because it might have been like there's something about you really have to trust yourself and protect yourself in this and maybe there were people around you who didn't understand your decision or doesn't or don't understand your decision to leave or to move forwards and you know like people at the workplace maybe they don't see the toxic boss right they don't see them clearly or something like this and that might have made it a harder process to kind of wake up from and, and leave because it, the behavior was normalized around you there's an energy where it's like the toxic behavior was normalized around you so this made it harder to identify it and therefore protect yourself from it okay but you have taken yourself out and i'm seeing it's like huh, you're taking yourself out of such a poisonous environment and now it's like you have to purge all the poison out of you the de detoxing the toxins out of you quite literally like from those relationships and the cords that you might have had connecting you with those people and the manipulation and the confusion and the overtaking of your mind so you can't see things quite clearly right that's all that happens with these sorts of um narcissistic people who lack empathy and they're very very predatory in the way that they approach life and they're very much about what they can get from life and so they i'm seeing that they really like viewed you as like what can I get from you and they really took advantage of you is what I'm getting and they sort of used you for your energy because you are extremely magnetic and you are extremely strong and powerful and it's definitely not true that um you know abusive people only find people who are very submissive or shut down or something no abusive people can find extremely pow empowered people extremely independent people you know it's it's really um you know <laughs> there's no sort of set person who can become prey to this but once you are aware of it once you have had that experience of taking yourself out of that toxic environment and seeing it for what it is then you have purified your space so that any toxic individual or situation or workplace or whatever that enters that will be able to see it very clearly because it will be at contrast with what you're experiencing right because if you are experiencing a healthy toxin-free, poison-free environment, and then poison comes into your energetic system, that's gonna feel really bad, right? You're gonna have side effects from that poison. You're gonna start to have brain fog or, you know, not see things clearly again. You're gonna start to know, notice. So Spirit's saying you've really set yourself up to be free, to be free <laughs> in the long term, to be free in the long run, because you've taken yourself out of that toxic environment. So any toxins that come in, you're going to know about it and you're not going to let it infiltrate and do damage to to your psyche to your soul to your energy field to your life because i'm seeing again i'm seeing that you have such a powerful energy and such a powerful presence and you might actually be a very independent person so this might have you know again you're not like what i'm trying to say is that you're not the archetype of like you know someone who's a victim in life or really downtrodden or anything like you're actually i'm seeing a very empowered person but you somehow found yourself you know in this situation it could have been even your family that you were born into right so it's sort of you were in this environment right and it wasn't you and and so you couldn't stay because you know some people maybe are able to stay in those environments for some sort of reason like i'm not saying it's a good thing but <laughs> they sort of seem to be able to do it somehow um, but you just don't have that kind of energy field. You just can't do it. And that's for that's because spirit has a plan for your life. That's a lot bigger than, you know, putting up with toxic people and letting them energy drain you. Because if you do let them energy drain you, you will 
you are giving your life force away to this to this person or to this situation or this workplace you're giving your life force away in a way that will take from your ability to move forwards in life so you've really given yourself the opportunity to actually move forwards in life and that's how spirit wants you to see the decision that you've made to leave whatever it is that you've left or to say no to it or to put up a boundary and recognize the toxicity of it Because you're giving yourself the opportunity to thrive, basically. You're giving yourself the opportunity to detox, to purge the toxins. Because there's nothing... Spirit's saying, like... The environment that you put your, yourself in was the problem. You were not the problem in that, situ in that situation, in that scenario. It was the environment that you were placed in. So you're changing the environment, and that's what's eliciting this rebirth, essentially. Like, you're kind of... Doing it for yourself is what I'm feeling, group one. It's not, this rebirth is not really coming out of nowhere and a huge surprise. Actually, it's quite a predictable result of you changing your environment and changing the input into what you're taking in, in terms of poisons and toxins from these negative humans or situations, workplaces. Because if there's a toxic boss, you know, it creates a whole toxic workplace atmosphere. So the whole situation is, you know, poisoned. <laughs> So spirits are really likening it to poison, like these relationships, because we have these cords that we connect with people with, right? So this really, really does come in. It really, we really do share this energy with them. We really do. There's, there's so much more that happens on the astral, right? In terms of dynamics here, and the energy that the energy of vampirism is something we really have to look out for, especially someone like you, because you have so much beautiful um, creative energy in your sacral and in your whole in your whole system you have so much going for you. you have so much you have such a bright future and it's and it's like you attract these lower vibrational people who want to sort of come in and almost like hijack your future and come in and and sort of like live out your potential through themselves and so you're learning how to protect yourself from this sort of form of energy vampirism. You're learning how to not really not let that happen and and not leave any sort of doors open for this kind of people, predatory kind of people to come in because you're learning like, again, self-protection and boundaries and discernment. And you've learned it all through this situation. And like I said, I'm feeling a very distinctive energy field in you right now where it's not poison. There's no poison, there's no toxins. You've given yourself every opportunity now to, to thrive and to shine and you will be reborn in this space you're in a void right now because i'm seeing you left something behind and you've yet to be reborn you're in the womb of the creation the creative frequency is really going to come through you though because i'm seeing like again something was holding your energy field back and it was partly at least these like I said, relationships, workplace, whatever it was, the toxic relationship, the toxic people in your life were really holding you back energetically from being able to move forwards in some kind of way. So you've protected yourself from that and Spirit's saying you're not going to have to play out these patterns because you're going to be able to identify when the toxic energy comes in because you've clean, cleaned it all out. It's like imagine you have a perfectly clean house and you everything's in order and then someone comes and you know paints on the wall or something you're going to notice it you're going to be like wait that's not that doesn't belong here that's disrupting my <laughs> peace you know so that's really good news for you group one <laughs> i'm so happy for you because spirit just wants to i guess acknowledge the work that you've had to do to get to this place because it takes a lot of you know courage in oneself and conviction in your own intuition to basically recognize something when I'm seeing a lot of people around you like we're not able to recognize it a lot of people in the situation you were in were not maybe able to recognize how toxic and poisonous it was and like I said some people seem to seem to be able to do better in these situations like for example in a workplace where there's a toxic boss some people seem to thrive or seem to right and other people seem to really not <laughs> so i'm not really sure exactly how it works but spirit is saying you're not meant to thrive in those places because spirit has such a better plan for your life you know spirit has a way bigger plan for your life than just putting up with toxic people and letting yourself be energy harvested because this stuff is so legit man like when the energy harvesting happens between two people and that can really disrupt someone's path it really can't so we have to be very very good boundaries so 
that's what you're basically doing right now is like you're leveling up because you're letting go of these toxic people these toxic workplaces these toxic patterns whatever it is and you're actually not going to allow that into your life in any form now i'm also getting that like these toxic people i'm just gonna say people were blocking you from receiving the answers that you needed to get in life in some way like the answer to some kind of problem or some kind of block that you were having that was maybe keeping you from moving forwards it's like their energy field was blocking you from being able to see this answer because it's like their their energy field was impacting your life force to such a degree that you couldn't get enough of the magnetism that you naturally have to like pull in through sort of you know the law of attraction pull in that answer or pull in that solution to this problem or this challenge that maybe has been blocking you or holding you back it, it's like it wasn't a vibrational match to that toxic situation that you're in so it couldn't come in and it's like through making the decision to leave and saying no I do not accept this in my life I do not allow this in my life I'm protecting myself through like leaving in doing that you're also opening yourself up for receiving like all the answers that you need to the problems that you have it's very interesting it's, it's a very different magnetic field around you is what I'm seeing like that's what you're building it's like you're rebuilding back up your magnetic field your energetic field your aura because it was so damaged by this toxic poison and it's like you're purging all of that through through the pain right through letting go of the pain of what you went through and there can be all kinds of emotions coming up you know like anger and grief and you know why couldn't I see it earlier this kind of stuff so it's purging out of you spirit saying and you're entering into a rebirth era a rebirth phase where your life is going to be looking brand new in some way like brand new you've never experienced this before and I'm also seeing it's some kind of like in a really really positive way something that maybe you've really been wanting to be new or wanting to be able to happen wanting yourself to be able to be it's like you're at the magnetic frequency to pull it in now or you're that's that's what your rebirth will be it's like you you manifest something that you've really wanted and it changes your entire life like it changes your career or it changes your relationship status or it changes your location your living location your appearance your health status whatever it is for you like and it could be multiple of those things because I've noticed that <laughs> things often manifest in multiples so I'm feeling like two at least two two aspects really picking up at once like a relationship and your career or something like that or your health and your money or I don't know there's like two things that are going to come as blessings through this rebirth you're going to be reborn in like two areas of your life <laughs> and they're probably areas that you've been previously held back in quite a lot or you've been trying to manifest or make progress in for yourself in your life and maybe also areas of your life that you felt maybe you didn't have clarity about like how is this going to work out for me or how is this going to come through for me and spirit's saying like part of the answer is actually through leaving this toxic relationship with these toxic people through leaving that it's like you're giving yourself the answers that you need you're giving yourself wow it's like a rite of passage or something and you're i'm seeing your whole energy field changing your whole aura so therefore what you attract in is completely different it's completely different what you're attracting in and how you're becoming magnetic and it's just your true self really shining through and you're giving yourself permission to be your true self because again spirit wants me to talk about the energy dynamics between like a you know an empath and a narcissist or an energy vampire and not an energy vampire <laughs> how else shall we put it um and Spirit is saying that when an energy vampire is like harvesting energy from someone, they kind of are stealing that person's destiny in a certain way. It can't ever be fully taken because all that person has to do is reclaim their power. Like the empath, the non-energy 
a vampire in that situation just has to reclaim their power and they have complete freedom to do that you know that's the crown chakra that's that's the awakened crown chakra when we realize we have the power to leave toxic situations we do not have to live there we do not have to sit in it and we have the you know we assert our free will we assert our freedom and that's what i'm seeing that you've done so in no small way group one you have actually reclaimed your destiny like this is a big this is a big deal <laughs> you've reclaimed your destiny group one that's what i'm getting and something like i said that was held back from you before an aspect of your destiny that was held back from you before like maybe you were with the wrong person right and so you couldn't meet your true true love you couldn't meet your soulmate you couldn't meet them because that toxic person was filling up that space in your life and it wasn't you couldn't become a vibrational match to attract that until you left that behind and you allowed your energy to, to heal so you could bring that in it's something like that right where the, the toxic person was really blocking you from receiving what you are really destined here to receive and therefore it was also blocking like it was stealing like i'm seeing it was siphoning out your destiny and trying to use it for itself or themselves so you've really protected yourself and you've really reclaimed your power in this situation and spirit just wants to commend you because you've done really well you've done so well group one and i know it hasn't been easy because i feel like this situation probably ooh, like I'm, I'm feeling you know a brokenness like almost you know you had to put yourself in this womb to heal from being broken down and beaten down by this situation this person this workplace this energy vampire dynamic it's like i'm seeing yeah it's like you had to heal from the battle almost you know it's like you got hurt right so again i'm sending you healing healing energy and spirit saying you're going to come out of this womb and you're going to have healed and you're going to be so strong and you're going to be manifesting such a different version of yourself and such a different version of your life and you're going to let yourself be not held back at all like like i said you're going to find answers to certain things that will open doors for you and it's all through leaving behind this toxic thing this toxic person so definitely spirit also wants to reassure you that you did make make the right decision or if you're still contemplating leaving something that's toxic then it is going to open the doors for you in life like it's going to open up your whole destiny you have to you have to do it basically to reclaim your destiny or else you go down a very different timeline and there's something about the timeline now that you've left that toxic situation it's your true self and it's so powerful it's the most powerful version of you because it's truly you and it's not it's not being held back anymore so there's such a strength to the magnetism of what you're manifesting and like i said it's going to be something you've not really experienced before some element of what you're manifesting is so new to you that it might even surprise you that your life actually took this direction or that your life is able to take this direction or that you're capable or that you have so much talent within you maybe this is yeah i'm definitely seeing like hidden talents being <laughs> born from you because you again have given yourself such a different environment to exist in you know it's the difference between being like for example in an abusive relationship versus a healing loving relationship it's like a completely different you know soil to grow from you know and in an abusive it's like everything that is experiencing everything that is toxic like a toxic person a toxic environment a toxic relationship whatever it is it will always degrade it will always bring like destruction and break things down and you will be drained and it will bring you know it will bring that degrade like it will degrade degrade things you might even look older when you're around this person you know because it brings that life or it pulls you down versus something that is healing it will always heal it will always uplift it will always bring love it will always bring light it will always make your life better so it really is these two sides of the duality and spirit saying you're moving from one to the other you're moving from from toxic to purified to crystal clear you know in your energy field and in your life and spirit also wants you to know that you have the you really have the support of the angels i'm, I'm feeling angelic energy around you and i'm feeling like spirit wants you to know that you have divine protection in this passage this 
departing that you're like disconnecting all these cords from this person or these people this situation you're disconnecting cords at the moment and there might still be a little bit of an untangling that's happening you might still get flashbacks or get like there's still a healing that's taking place where you're like decompressing from the trauma right and even here I'm sort of seeing this energy all around her is kind of like trauma releasing and she's rising up from that place as her true self you know so there is something being born like a phoenix rising from the ashes but you sort of are still in the fire where you're really purging out that trauma and you might again like I'm getting flashbacks sometimes where this person's energy might haunt you a bit the way that they perceive you is so distorted and it might come in and make you feel distorted about how you perceive yourself you might suddenly see yourself through this person's eyes or this workplace's eyes or something and you feel shame or humiliation or you feel like you're less than for some reason and spirit saying this is not true and this is just the you know remnants of that trauma um frequency within you that's being purged out because you know especially if you're with this person for a long time or it was a family member or something this can be very deeply ingrained um, trauma patterns right and very strong like mind manipulation it's for some people it could be likened to really living like a cult and really having to um psychologically unbrainwash yourself <laughs> when you're in this kind of a relationship or a situation or workplace it's very very distorted in the way that um and that's why it creates so much confusion because it's actually creating a false sense of reality it creates a false version of of you and that's how they see you is this false version and it can make you feel like is that true is that really who i am and spirit saying no and you're going to reclaim who you really are and you're not going to feel like this person's perspective has any power over you and you're going to really come into your power and i'm feeling fire energy here it's like you're really picking up that sense of protection and and that sense of needing to defend ourselves because there are times in life where we really have to stand up for ourselves and it's making me think of a dream that i had and spirit wants me to share it with you <laughs> i had a dream um a couple years ago now I had, a, I had this i had such an intense um dream where i was being chased in the forest by a wolf that was like trying to kill me and <laughs> It was like, you know, really coming at me and, and trying to bite me and, and scratch me and stuff. And so, and usually I like wolves, by the way, but anyway, in my dream, it was a wolf. And in my dream, I cr crawled up a tree trying to get away from it and it crawled up the tree after me. And so I finally turned around and like faced it and it started like to attack me and like bite me and... and claw at me and rip me rip at me and stuff and it was literally gonna try and kill me so in my dream i had to fight back i had to start like punching it and, and pushing it and bringing this energy out of me that was like this warrior energy of like fight for your life girl <laughs> and and i did it and i overcame it and i remember it really stuck with me because it was right around a time when i was going through my life where i really had to stand up i was going through what this energy is talking about i had to stand up to many narcissists <laughs> a whole a whole pack of them shall we say and um and i had to finally find my power and, and leave and and realize what was going on and and take back that sense of self-defense you know because there's such an important energy that sometimes in the new age sort of spiritual communities we might bypass that part of life but the reality is sometimes we need to defend ourselves we need to fight back if someone's fighting at, coming at you you need to defend yourself and push back and get them off of you you can't just accept it and lay down and let let it happen because we have a responsibility over our own power and we have to take responsibility for our life you know and so we have to fight back and so that's what you've done and spirit saying don't let anyone make you feel shame for doing that because you had to you were fighting for your life in this situation you had to get out of there to live your life to reclaim your destiny to reclaim your energy field so i feel like maybe there's there's a lot of discomfort right that you're going through right now <laughs> uh, i'm really sending you a lot of love group one but yeah i'm feeling discomfort because you're going through a lot of purging and when you're in the situation with the abusive person it can be a lot harder to feel your feelings right in a healthy way as 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 we feel them we release them but 
once you come out of an abusive, toxic environment or relationship, situation, workplace, you're going to have a lot of emotions that were like <laughs> all of it from then you now feel in the present and you have to release it and let it go. And it might feel uncomfortable and it might feel scary, you know, but all that you have to do is let it out of you, let it out of you, see, let it out of you. And there are a lot of different tools and ways that we can help with releasing trauma and light language is one of them. And that's the one that I really turn to and really helps me. But I think as well, really important to have a safe person and someone that you can rely upon and someone who understands like what you are going through as well. Just as some examples, obviously everyone has different ways of dealing with this and whatever you feel guided to do, but Spirit is saying, whatever you're doing, it's working anyway, because this is coming out of you. This is purging out of you. And you're going to eventually, I mean, you know, <laughs> how long is a baby in a womb? Nine months. That time can pretty much fly by, you know, sometimes. It's not that long, even though it can feel really long, you know, it's all relative. So Spirit's saying like, it's not going to be that long until you're actually ready to reborn, be reborn and you're actually ready to open your heart and yourself to the world again and you've cleared any confusion or doubt or shame or you know a negative self-image that can be manipulated and almost brainwashed into your brain into your mind and by these abusive people by these energy harvesting people because as long as you're disempowered they can still have energy from you they can still have hold over you so you're entering into a huge new beginning group one and Let's pull a final card to see what Spirit wants to say, I guess. <laughs> Let's see. Spirit, what do you want to say, group one, about their new beginning, what they're manifesting, is their rebirth? What do you want to say? Wow. We have two cards. We have exaltation, which is the moon in Taurus in the second house. Look at that. <laughs> we have secrets, which is... Venus in Scorpio in the 8th house. Very interesting. Group number one, exaltation and secrets. <laughs> wow. This is really you moving from one energy to the other because the 8th house and the 2nd house are both on the same axis. So is Taurus and Scorpio. So I'm feeling like there's a shift from, say, the 8th house, which is like, for example... The eighth house can talk about other people's money and like money that we come come from, we come to through other people. Like we come to through marriage or inheritance or something like this. Whereas the second house is really like money that we can create for ourselves. And that's kind of the energy that I'm getting for you. It's like you're moving from a place of being in like dependent on someone else in some way. And that's always what's going to happen with the toxic person. They're going to create some kind of dependency so that you don't have as much of an ability to leave them it's like it's like when people clip a bird's wings so they can't fly away that's pretty much what these energy vampires do to the energy field they clip your wings so you can't fly away so it's like going from a place of relying on other people to really having this self-sufficiency energy where it's so independent and it's coming through you because you're on your life path and on your life path on, on spirit's plan for your life spirit's plan is never for you to be stuck in an abusive relationship right that's never Spirit's plan. So it's like you're finding your true plan and you're realizing you don't have to be dependent on anyone else. You don't have to be reliant upon other people in a toxic way. You really, like the, the second house also talks about, like I'm feeling like you're moving from the eight to the two, okay? From the Scorpio to the, to the Taurus because Scorpio energy can be, ooh, it can be really poisonous, right? Well, actually, yeah, Scorpio has that poison in its, in its tail, the tail of the scorpion has poison and it poisons in order to, um, I guess, defend itself. I'm not sure if it eats it. I don't know. <laughs> but I know that there's poison in the Scorpio energy, right? So it's like you're moving from that poison to this Taurus, moon in Taurus exaltation, which is Taurus is the most comforting, I feel, sign. It's all about your comfort. It's all about like things being really comfortable. So it's like you're moving from a place of things being really uncomfortable, poisonous, kind of toxic, to things being super comfortable and like abundant and thriving and growing, which is the Taurus energy. And the moon in Taurus is actually where the moon is exalted, which is why this card's called exaltation, I think. So there's different planetary placements in the signs have, um, you know, debilitating and exalting kind of, um, 
you know, when the energy is fused together, it can be debilitating or it can be a really good, you know, creation. And moon in Taurus is like really the exalted version of it. It's the best version of it because the moon feels so comfortable in Taurus in that comforting kind of, you know, um, sensual energy where it's, you know, it's, it's really just a really, really comfortable, like comfortable in the body, comfortable in the sensual experiences of earth. So you're moving so, it's such a contrast, right? It's such an opposite. You're moving really into an opposite energy. It's really an, almost like you were living your life in some way. Your life was being inverted by this negative toxic energy. For example, like you were, you were with the wrong person and therefore they were blocking, like they were creating an inverted version of your relationship timeline where you actually need to reclaim it and come into the exalted version of your your relationship timeline, for example. That's what I'm seeing. It's like you're really moving from a place of disempowered to empowered in such a powerful way. And I'm seeing a lot of abundance as well. A lot of abundance for you and coming through you, this abundance coming through you and in all of your life, emanating out into all of your life, but it comes from you. And it comes from the fact that you are so in alignment and you are so happy and nourished and you know well-fed and all of these things, instead of feeling that emaci emaciated by the fact that you're having your energy siphoned from you. So you're really releasing so much resistance. I'm just seeing life becoming a lot easier, a lot more comfortable in ways that you might not have actually ever experienced because I'm seeing you might have really grown up in a very uncomfortable place, in a very, you know, maybe even poisonous environment for some of you, right? With this toxic energy and even in your home life. And so you're really changing that. You're really changing your karma. You're really change, like putting things on their head, like something that was inverted is becoming upright. And it's such a blessing. It's such a beautiful thing. And you're going to be surrounded in every aspect of your life. It will be in alignment. You're going to be surrounded by this loving, very comforting and comfortable energy where you're really held by life and by the people in your life and supported by the fact that you have abundance in every area. And I'm really seeing no toxic people in sight for you, group one. Seriously, there is, look, you learnt the secret. You learnt the secret to freedom and to love and life. And you're not going to be fooled by the, the um, you're not going to be fooled anymore. You know, this um, Scorpio energy, like you've seen, you've seen, you've seen the darkest of dark things. I really feel that you've, you've come into contact with, I mean, a lot of us have, but you really have come into contact with some dark energies, group one, and you've cleansed yourself from it and you've left it and you've reclaimed your power in ways that, you know, you really shouldn't underestimate because a lot of people, they don't do that. They can't do it. It's too hard. And you face that extreme, look, the Scorpio energy, of course, yes, you had to go through that Phoenix energy because the, the highest, um, I heard something like about Scorpio, which I thought was really interesting. It was like the lower frequency energy of, of Scorpio is the Scorpion, <laughs> but the highest frequency of Scorpio is the Phoenix and it rises from the fire, right? It burns itself, but it is born from the ashes. So you really are this Phoenix energy and that's your, that's what you are here to claim in your lifetime. And so far, I feel like you've only experienced the hard part <laughs> of that Phoenix journey, the hard part of having a Phoenix destiny, but you also get to have the beautiful part, the rebirth part where you actually get to fly and spirit saying, hang in there because you're, you're going to, it's a hundred percent guaranteed <laughs> that you will be born again, no matter how crazy it, it seems, right? You will be born again. Okay, so group number one, sending you so much love on your path and I'll see you in another video, okay? Bye. Group number two, you chose artistry and I feel like you are manifesting a miracle, group number two. Something that you did not think was possible for your life or something that you, some kind of a solution to something you were really anxious about and it could easily be quite a lot to do with your work. <laughs> or some kind of artistry that you have, some kind of project that you're working on, something you're trying to create, maybe a new business, or just your actual art form, music, singing, whatever it is for you. You're going to have a breakthrough in regards to your creative project, your creative artistry, some kind of a breakthrough. And it's different for different people, but something that you really thought wasn't possible 
is going to become possible and it's going to literally feel like a, a miracle to you because for some reason you were too practical spirit saying like you were thinking about things in too much of a 3d way of like well practically if i want to achieve this then i have to achieve x y and z or i have to do this step and then this step and then this step and then finally i might get to the thing that i'm wanting to achieve or you thought that you couldn't work full time on your passion project or your art or you couldn't like something about that like something you didn't think was possible or you were thinking too practically you were thinking too much based in 3d rules right like you have to go to university and then get a degree and then no there's something like you're bypassing some kind of a rule in the physical world or you're bypassing um you know other people's standards of of what is possible and you're just inventing your own reality basically group two <laughs> and it's going to bring you a lot of freedom from anxiety because i'm seeing that there was something about the situation where you weren't able to work on your project properly because you didn't have enough time or maybe you felt blocked like you had some creative blocks because you know if you are making money from your creative passion then sometimes that can feel you know it can sometimes the creative energy can feel a bit blocked because you might be forced to kind of work on demand and that might not be really always when you feel that creative <laughs> impulse to work so there can be all kinds of complexities right but i'm seeing something about your flow state becoming better because there was something that was blocking your flow state with your creative project or your creative energy in some way your art artistry there was something that was blocking the flow state a bit and it was i think it was some kind of literal like anxiety about money or about the practical side of life like how am i gonna practically gonna be able to do this or you had to work a job that took all your hours so you couldn't you couldn't work on your passion project the way you wanted to something about the practical side of life you know the money the 3d we've got to follow these rules we've got to pay our taxes and it's like oh my god it's so boring <laughs> and then it's like you just have this amazing passionate like incredible um creative you know spirit and sometimes when you face that reality that harsh reality of, of the rules you know of this of this world in terms of like we gotta we gotta pay our bills we gotta do this that can cause the anxiety and it can cause it can cause a, a block in the flow state so i'm seeing some kind of energy in your life being rearranged it's like you're being the energy in your life is like being shuffled like a deck of cards and you're having a whole new like spread <laughs> so something is going to be changing and you're going to feel it as if it's a miracle because it's something you really deeply wanted to do with your artistry to do with like i said being able to work on your passion project full time or being able to have that block go away <laughs> that creative block you know when you get into a creative block phase and you're like oh my god i can't work i don't know what's going on when you don't have that creative spark that it's sometimes you know especially when we're going through like the harsh realities of life it can really impact the energy field and can impact the life force and so therefore the creative output can get a little bit slower so i'm seeing you felt a little bit blocked like i said on a pr creative project or you're working on something or yeah and maybe it was like i said some kind of anxiety i'm picking up about life about what i'm going to do how i'm going to make money how i'm going to support myself how do i rearrange like, you're like you're trying to figure it out spirit sinks like you're trying to figure out like how do i rearrange my life so that i have all the pieces in the places that i want them to be <laughs> because right now you're like i don't know i don't like this piece over here and i don't like how the, this is structured or i'm feeling blocked in my creative flow i can't get into flow state i don't know what's going on da, da, da. it's that kind of energy and, and it might also be like a perfectionistic energy as well where you like something like that but anyway so i'm seeing things are being rearranged for you so that you're going to have a lot more flow and a lot more free time a lot more time to work on a passion project to work on your art to be in flow state and be this artist that you are whatever it is that you're creating so you're going to have sort of be given like i said a miracle yay group two you're going to be given a miracle where you're going to be able to work on it and it's going to bypass the laws of reality in some way where you're going to be like how is this even possible you didn't think that your life could be restructured like this only in the way that the divine can do it for us right the divine knows how to do these amazing things and so it's like what your brain could think of as a solution when you were trying to figure it out you're like maybe i just have to work more hours and make more money and then take time off and what am i going to do and you're trying to like figure out some kind of solution to this problem this block that you're having or you're trying to like and then it's like well this miracle comes in it's the solution and it's like all of your inspiration comes back in your creative energy can flow now and you're able to work do your work in the world do this creative work in the world again in such an unblocked way <laughs> 
it's going to become a lot stronger like the flow of your work is going to really come back to you or come through in a new way even like for some of you this could even also be you kind of really learning a new skill as well or doing something that you've never done before releasing like something that you've never released to the world before i'm seeing a lot of new energy here as well and spirit really wants to give you the opportunity to really flourish in this artistry energy that you have like you're going to be given like i said your life is being restructured like reshuffled and you're getting a new spread a new a new set of cards to the ones you were working with before and spirit's saying like you were trying to make it work with the old cards that you had and and it's like you were trying to rearrange the cards and be like maybe if i put this one with this and, and what if i do this and maybe if i and spirit's saying no no no, no don't worry wait we got you <laughs> they're gonna just take all of those cards away re reshuffle the deck and put some new cards out and you're gonna be like wait this is everything that i need this is all of the ingredients you know that i need for my successful life whether it's time whether it's your inspiration coming back to you whether it's your energy your health your um, whether it's a financial support, whether it's being able to make money and go full time in, in this what you want, <laughs> like your artistry. So Spirit's saying you don't have to worry about like trying to know how, you know, and that's the practical side that can block things sometimes. It's like when we, when we don't know how, we, we, we think something's possible, like, oh, working full time on your artistry, you think it's possible, but you don't know how. So then it can create this sense of being defeated and, oh, I feel blocked and deflated and like, well, it's not going to happen. The spirit's saying like, just don't let your mind run away with things too much and, and get into too much anxiety about this situation because spirit's saying sometimes we don't have that we don't know how because we don't need to know how and because spirits already you know we'll know how later <laughs> once spirit figures it out for us right so spirits kind of saying like let yourself be helped by the divine and lean into that sense of needing support from the divine and asking for help in this manifestation because it's like this miracle is coming through it's not something that you would have thought of yourself it's kind of going to be presented to you as a solution and it's going to, like I said, take you really into a very different energy field. And I'm seeing it's like there's something about your energy field that's a bit of a perfectionist. And again, I'm seeing you being unsettled or on, on what's the word? Like something wasn't quite right in the energy. Like, for example, like if you're working on a project and you just can't quite focus, there's something about it. It's like something's bothering you, you're anxious about something or you've got some kind of health issue so you can't focus properly and it's just like something's blocking you and spirit's saying you're going to feel like really able to work again and something about your perfectionism though it's almost like it's going to serve you like you are a perfectionist in some ways what i'm picking up from your energy field and for some reason i feel like it serves you because it just really like uh heightens the quality of your work it heightens the sense of like what you're putting out into the world so there's something about like spirits giving you the opportunity to be more of a perfectionist <laughs> and you're not going to feel like not a perfectionist in a toxic way okay <laughs> because i know perfectionism is usually set you know usually we talk about it as if it's quite a bad thing you know because often it does get in the way of, of getting things done and, and letting letting go a little bit of that perfectionism stuff but for you i'm feeling it differently and it's like you're a perfectionist because that's just how you wish to do your art form. That's that's your version of things. It's sort of like, you know, imagine a painter who has to paint very realistic, like photo-like um, portraits of people. Well, they kind of have to be a perfectionist, you know. It's a, it's not really up for interpretation at the end of the day. They want, they someone's asking for like a very realistic portrait of themselves. So that's kind of what, what I'm kind of saying is like, there's something about the art that you're doing where the perfectionism is kind of good or or necessary or normal or needed or it's just about you <laughs> as a soul you just are a perfectionist you have very high standards and spirit's kind of like giving you what you need so that you can meet those standards of perfectionism that you have spirit's giving you the opportunity so you can meet that so you have whatever it is that you need so that you can yeah really be that perfectionistic artist that you are <laughs> In a healthy way though, I'm feeling like the energy is flowing in this in this version of things when you're feeling that perfectionistic energy. It's not being blocked by this perfectionistic energy at all. So, so Spirit's asking you to basically let go of the how and just realize that you can receive miracles in your life and not everything has to be sorted out by your own kind of mind. Like you don't have to always 
find the solution because sometimes the solution is not there for you to be found like it's not there to be found that's what spirit is saying is happening in this situation is like you're trying to find a solution through like i said the cards that you have on the table in front of you you're trying to like rearrange them and like maybe if i put it like this but spirit is saying that's not actually the cards that you're going to be working with that they're, they're they're about to be taken away reshuffled and you'll be being given a new a new set and that's going to give you totally different energy to work with so it's something about the solution can't be found when with the, with what you're looking at around you. You're trying to be too practical. You're trying to just look at the 3D, like what exists currently in my life that I have access to that I can do with my own will to change the situation, which is a very admirable thing to do, Spirit saying, because you're trying to take responsibility for what's going on. But Spirit saying this matter has to be taken up by the spirits, by the divine, by the by the angels, because there's something about a miracle that's going to be gifted to you, a reshuffling of your life and a lot changing in a very positive way. So yeah, Spirit's just asking you really to detach from your worries, from your anxiety, because there's some kind of like magical thing that's just gonna swoop in and change, change the change the game. <laughs> there's gonna change something for you. It's gonna swoop in and, and it's gonna be like a miracle or a totally re reshuffling of your life. And there's an element of surprise here. There's an element of like, you might not really be able to predict exactly how this is going to play out because like I said, you might be looking at looking at what you what you've got going on. You're like, I don't see how this is going to work out. So, so spirit's asking you to really just open your mind and kind of detach from that emotional um, fear and that tension, and and really look at up and and sort of even pray. You know, if you feel comfortable doing that to spirit and asking for help in this situation, or asking for help to manifest it, what it is that you you know the highest outcome for you and the best version of what it is that you're trying to manifest. Because I'm seeing that you've already been trying. You've already been trying to like go full time in your art, or make it, make make money from your art, or your work, or your, and, or try to find it out. Like for some of you, well, actually no, this is for everyone. <laughs> okay, there is some kind of element of your own artistry that's also going to be revealed to you through this reshuffling of your life. Like a new element of your own artistry, like a new and exciting element, like, you know, learning a new instrument or something, and then you could become so passionate about it. Or, um, I don't know, learning a new language, even like there's something about learning something new and it's going to come very naturally to you. It's more, I guess, you know, you're feeling very inspired to experience this new thing. Like there's a new element of your artistry that's going to come in for you. And I think it's going to be a very satisfying, yeah, a very satisfying addition to, you know, your current talents. <laughs> it's like an addition to your current talents. And maybe something, again, there's something un unexpected about that because maybe you thought that, you know, this is the energy. It's like you thought that you would have to learn and study and, and it would be really hard maybe to pick up this new form of art that you you're interested in or this this extension or this new instrument or new form new style of painting or whatever this new language but actually it's going to be coming very easily to you i'm seeing there's some kind of like i said addition to your already you already are talented and there's something new coming in and it might be like yeah something that you haven't actually thought of before that you would be capable of or that you would have within you because it's sort of coming from within you even though you might be learning like i said an instrument or a new form of art it's sort of still coming from within you first is what i'm getting so there's some it's like channeled from within you and it's maybe it's something you've already skilled at in a past life because it feels very close to your heart when you like let this part of you out it's like you're letting out a new part of yourself um, and it's very, very talented. It's very gifted, a little like a gift that you didn't realize you had inside of you. So there's a lot being revealed to you, group two. Like there's a lot that you might not actually see about yourself or see about your life that actually is true or actually is coming for you or is actually going to be born through you. Wow. Okay. For some of you as well, I'm feeling like you're really going to be finding your niche in a certain area like you might already be doing something general but you're really going to find your niche or you're really going to hone your skills through this project you're working on or you're going to be able to reveal like i'm seeing some kind of revealing happening about your gifts to the world like maybe you've been holding them back or, or or it's like a new project you've been working on so no one's seen it yet and you're going to be able to reveal it to the world and it's going to be like a really um kind of life-changing moment for you group two when you do reveal this new project to the world when you do release it um not only as i feeling like it's going to make you quite maybe quite a lot of money or, or elevate your status in your career in some way 
but I also feel like it's going to change your energy because maybe for some of you it's the first project you've released or it's the first time you're, you're putting yourself out there in a certain area or like I said you might be learning something new and then you end up putting yourself out there in that or like I said it might be your first project but it's going to be very very successful um, and there is something about you being elevated like to new heights with this project or with this release of this album or whatever it is that you're doing new skills but also new heights um, so there's a lot of newness I think that's something spirit wants you to know because I feel like maybe sometimes like the you, you, you like spirit saying sometimes you look at what's going on in your physical reality as you know evidence that that's what it's going to be like in the future or that that's sort of what you're going to end up just manifesting is just more of this more of what's already around you but spirit saying there's actually so much new there's so many new experiences that you can have and that's what i'm seeing you kind of getting into that creative frequency again where you're like wow there's so much newness there's so much newness everywhere 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 and for some reason that felt a bit blocked and maybe you were going through like repeating a cycle that you were sick of or i don't know something about the creative energy was blocked and maybe a lot of things you just got into a routine and it was the same and the same and the same so i'm seeing a lot of new 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 a lot of new things a lot of new experiences to uplift your soul and activate you in different ways like going to new places going to having experiences you never had before learning new skills realizing you're talented in ways that you didn't even know and letting yourself explore that and letting yourself expand into that so much yeah there's a huge expansion here and i'm really seeing as well your self-worth your sense of yourself your confidence in yourself expanding as well because this artistry card is making me feel like you're going to be more you know confident in your artistry maybe it's through like i said putting uh, releasing this project you have and, and then it's like you really get a re reflection of yourself from the world where you're like wow i'm actually really talented at this or people really appreciate this about me or i'm or it's really financially successful so you having this confidence boost through this process of releasing something and and having that um yeah having that really fulfill you because it's part of your destiny so it's sort of you know and you might have had to kind of fight as well <laughs> fight for this success in some way because like i said i did feel like the energy was quite blocked so it might have been like you know your hardest project or your hardest album to work on and it's like finally got, you got it out so it felt it feels like bigger deal you know this time because it was harder <laughs> it was harder to get it there because there were some kind of blocks but i think that's because it's transforming you as you're working on it you know how like when musicians are working on like a really you know intense emotional album and it, it, it sort of is healing them through the process of working on it and writing the lyrics and producing the music and that's what i'm getting for you is like this this project that you're working on or this artistry that you're coming into it will test you to the very core of your being but in the best kind of way <laughs> in the best kind of way because it's who you really are and there is some kind of um you can't avoid this like you can't avoid confronting this you have to work through it through your art through your creation and you're going to work through some kind of like blocks or whatever it is that needs to be cleared so that you can present this to the world so you can come fully into your power and like really into your um growth and your abundance as well so yeah you're healing yourself through your art through your artistry through your creative projects and i think in turn this will also heal the world when you release it to the world it's like there's a really strong impact that it has onto the world it's a really or, or you release your your new art form into the world or something i don't know releasing yourself like there's something about letting yourself be seen as you release this into the world as you let as you let people consume it or, or view it or view you or see you it's like you're letting yourself be seen and there might have been a lot of energies where it's like harder for you to let yourself be seen let yourself rise let yourself be seen there's something very healing about this for you and yeah, you're going to realize that you really are very talented and, and very gifted and this is going to feel really good because it's like there's some kind of shift for you group two where it's i'm feeling like something about the outside of your reality wasn't matching like who you felt you were on the inside it's like it wasn't matching up and you felt like well i know who i am and i feel like i'm not living this out i'm not reaching my potential or i'm not giving this to the world like i know that i'm meant to right and so it wasn't matching up the outside of your reality was not a match and it felt unfulfilling it felt wrong and so this shift that i'm seeing it's like you releasing this out into the world it's, it's changing your reality it's like like i said reshuffling things and your your outside reality is now going to be a match to your inside reality and it's going to feel very congruent and it's going to feel very fulfilling and it's going to feel very just enough you know when you feel fulfilled and you're like yeah i'm, I'm good not sort of like starving for for this sense of fulfillment this like searching for this sense of what am, what am i searching for you know i mean you find what you're looking for wow so 
group two there you go i feel like that's your reading for you group two <laughs> but i'm sending you so much love in your path and i'll see you in another video bye okay hello group three so you chose health what are you manifesting i'm feeling health and harmony for you group three so you could actually be manifesting your health especially if that's been something that hasn't been there for you recently your health i'm feeling like a really upturn <laughs> in your health but health can also be applied to many different areas of your life like healthy relationships a healthy workplace you know um healthy environment to live in as well as your physical health emotional health mental health and spiritual health so i'm feeling across the board your health improving and I'm feeling a harmony coming into your life, like a more of a, a less resistance in, in all areas of your life. You know, it's like I'm seeing something about resistance. Like you've been, you know, that energy of like wading through like a quicksand. It's a quicksand, <laughs> like a thick, wading through like thick sand, you know, and you're trying to like move through it. Um, and it's like some kind of energy. Yeah, quicksand, that's right. When it pulls you down, it's like some kind of energy trying to resist your upward motion, resist that ascension. And, you know, group three, I feel like there's some kind of energy that's within you, actually, that was causing this resistance. Like some kind of, it's like you're moving out of self-sabotage by thinking that you're not worthy of receiving really beautiful things really healthy versions of your life like there's something about the worthiness your your self-confidence where you're leaving behind patterns of self-sabotage that were subconsciously keeping you from receiving really good things and that was creating this level of resistance where things were a lot harder than they needed to be it's like it's like some kind of pattern in your life based around worthiness, based around feeling good enough, was creating some kind of self-sabotage where it was making your life feel like 10 times harder than it actually needed to be. And it was slowing things down, it was causing resistance. So it's like you're really ending any patterns of self-sabotage, which is a really powerful place to be, group three. And de ne definitely don't underestimate this message because clearing patterns of self-sabotage is huge. It's like you're getting out of your own way. And we are really the only ones who are ever holding ourselves back. You know, there's, there's some kind of message about that coming in for you where it's like you're realizing that the power was always within you. And you're having to impart maybe some kind of discipline on yourself, some kind of, you know, there's some maybe some kind of tough level you're realizing like okay I have to face this or I have to dig deep and really have discipline it's kind of like maybe if you know for example if you have to follow a new healthy lifestyle regime a new healthy diet for example it might take a lot of um, discipline to stick to it and to not self-sabotage it this is what the kind of examples we're seeing and to not self-sabotage it right because it could be easy to self-sabotage and, you know, go and eat the unhealthy thing that, you know, makes your health feel worse and, and your mental health feel worse and all of that stuff. So it's sort of like breaking that pattern of self-sabotaging before you've even been able to make progress on something. And so you're letting yourself be successful. You're actually letting yourself be successful and it's taking a lot of discipline for you. And you're, but you're learning the strength of that. It's like you're learning the positive side of discipline where it's, where it's in balance. It's, it's applied in an appropriate way out of love because you have to, because it's for your health for example right not out of an inappropriate place it's a really appropriate discipline that you're applying into your life right now and that you're kind of pushing yourself to show up for and it's because it's sort of necessary like there's some kind of truth to it it's like you have to go through this um, in order to heal or in order to give yourself the best chance at life right you know and it's sort of like you're forced to, maybe you've been forced to change. That's kind of the energy I'm getting. Like it might be a thing that you wouldn't usually do unless you're kind of pushed to it. Like for example, a healthy lifestyle change, a healthy diet change, you know, you're kind of being pushed to dig deep and realize that you have this um, ability, like, you know, this in your solar plexus is what I'm feeling. This solar plexus energy of like digging deep and like finding your power and finding your strength and being like, yes, I am going to do this. I'm going to stick to this. I'm going to stay disciplined because it's for my best. It's for my highest good, you know? And so there's some kind of, it's like your worthiness. It's like you're realizing that you're worthy of receiving this. You're realizing like, this is all happening subconsciously, by the way, <laughs> all of these processes of, um, you know, self-sabotage, it's not conscious. You're not consciously trying to make your life harder, but there's something like you weren't letting yourself progress in some area. You kept sabotaging, for example, your healthy lifestyle, your healthy diet or something like this. That's just an easy kind of generic example, but maybe it was a relationship. You kept going back to a toxic person. You kept sabotaging your chances at having true love, right? By, by entertaining a very toxic person, for example. 
So you're realizing that you're worthy. You're realizing you're worthy. That's the, that's the subconscious shift is that you're letting your, you're realizing like, Hey, I deserve this. I actually deserve this. You know, that's such a powerful place to be group three is this place of worthiness, this place of knowing that you deserve so much better and therefore only accepting the best now. So yes, this shift has happened from a place of worthiness and it's really going to bring in a really abundant, beautiful, healthy life for you, like health in, in whatever that means to you. Like for some people, it literally is physical health. For, other, for others of you, it's finally having a healthy, loving relationship where you really can be nurtured and, and, and thrive in life, right? It's really thriving in life. For others of you, maybe it's healthy, a healthy workplace. It, 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 could be, it could be multiple things because really we need health in every area of our life and that's what I'm seeing. This energy is giving me like an activation energy, you know, like a, like almost like a light code, like a light language code. It's like there's something really activating in you and it's coming from this place of realizing that you're worthy. <laughs> it's like you were always worthy all along. You always deserve this, but it's like there was some kind of energy in you that kept sabotaging that and I think it came from a place of trauma you know and and you really have healed that spirit wants you to know and so you're going to be a lot more inspired you're going to be a lot more energetic you're going to have a lot more energy a lot more just like wanting to experience life I'm feeling like a sense of like you feel you're going to feel when you come into this extreme health <laughs> I want to say extreme health and harmony group three you're going to feel a bit like you are unleashed into the world and you're going to realize that you felt like some things have been held back from you a little bit like for example you if you haven't had your health for like many years when you do get it back you're going to like want to like go on so many adventures and you know go on like these you know three-day hiking trip where you're camping in the mountains and you haven't been able to you know leave your your bed for for a few years and it just feels so good to get back out into nature and to be able to experience the world and go on adventures and travel and go on an airplane and whatever it is go to adventure parks ride ride roller coasters like you might <clears throat> you might actually have like an inner child part in you as well that feels like they want to live out certain fantasies that they have about life that they might not have been able to do when they were when when you were an actual child like for example i'm really feeling like maybe you're meant to go to an amusement park or like some kind of a playground like some kind of play like as an adult playing in the energy as a child or, or realizing that earth is your playground again maybe it's more general like realizing that the earth is your playground and you're here to play you're here to have experiences and you're finally able to do that something was holding you back and you know it could be again different things for different people maybe it's a toxic relationship or or an addiction or something that you have to it's like you have to it's something that you have to give yourself the discipline of letting go of and doing that through love it's kind of tough love right like you have to it's like when the <laughs> the child wants the the candy for dinner but it's like no you have to have this nourishing food instead <laughs> it's like taking that away that that taking away something that was unhealthy and kind of forcing yourself to choose the healthy option and it might take a lot of discipline like I said to leave that toxic relationship that pattern that might be really strong or that that um that lure towards that thing that you know is bad for you or that that addiction that behavior that's somehow sabotaging your chances for happiness in life like there's something like you're doing something like that wow you really are or you already have maybe you already like kind of have already left that toxic relationship in your healing or you're already you know on your health journey and you're realizing you have to change your lifestyle in order to heal that kind of thing so you're doing really well spirit wants to know, wants you to know and you're you're going to get a lot of um like i'm seeing like the divine judgment coming through for you like when the angels come out of the clouds and they're like here you go you you have your um gift now because you you did all of these things to to receive it it's like there's something very much like you're doing it to receive this like for example you know someone who goes on a health journey and and you end up you know losing a lot of weight or something like this and you it's like you had to do the things you had to be the one to take responsibility and change your lifestyle in some way and that's what you're doing and you're going to get such a huge result from it like the whole universe the whole divine like all of the angels are on your side with this they're helping you they're helping you with 
how difficult it is to put this discipline in action and you know because there is some kind of a toxic like magnetism towards something that is unhealthy for you like an addiction or a relationship a toxic relationship something like that where it's like you really feel you keep feeling compelled and pulled back to that thing and it's really hard to break that pattern and you have to dig really deep but in doing this it's like you're clearing you're clearing the hold that that has over you. You're realizing that you can reclaim your power and that those addictions and any of that does not have to have power over you at all. And you're really coming back into your own independence because you kind of like lost yourself somewhere, somewhere along the way. And for some of you guys, if, if you know, it could just be realizing that you have to dig really deep in your soul and your solar plexus even and realize that you can heal. You know, that's what it might be for some of you is like realizing that you can't give up. You can't give up the fight and, and be like, oh, I'm just not gonna heal. I'm not gonna, no, you have to find that conviction within yourself and it might take so much strength, but you realize that you can do it, that you can find the answer, that you can heal your body, that you can come onto that timeline where you have a resolution of your health and of, of complete healing and you don't have to give up. Spirit's saying don't give up because you have the power within you you do and I know that it might feel like you feel tired you feel exhausted you feel like how can I keep digging deeper and deeper how can spirit keep asking me to dig deeper but but you can and you will and you're going to get to a very different place you're going to get to a very different place in life through this finding of this of this solar strength of this conviction of this willpower you know there is a sense of willpower here there really is, and it's a very interesting energy. It's, it's, there's a sense of spirit saying, use your willpower because it's such a gift that you have, you know, and we have to use it in certain areas. Our willpower won't get us everywhere, right? Because we have to be aligned with the right action and then use our willpower. But if we're aligned with wrong action, we try to use our willpower, we'll create things that are out of balance. But spirit is saying that whatever this healthy thing is that you're changing about your life right now, that you're manifesting like the best, healthiest version of you, this glow up, whatever it is, this healthy relationship that you really desire from deep within yourself. And you're like, I will, I will not stand for any more of this toxic stuff. This is changing you. You're having like an alchemical change in your whole, in your whole being. And spirit's saying, use that, use that feeling of, of knowing that you can do this, that you can achieve this because it's going like that alone is going to create this activation and you will be given answers. If you don't have the resources, you'll be given resources by the divine. Spirit is here to help you. Spirit just does not want you to give up because you have to do your part. Spirit's already here for you wanting to do Spirit's part. And it's like, all you have to do is show up and use your willpower in the appropriate way and use a little bit of discipline to be like, no, I can do this. And just have patience and love for yourself and for your journey and realize that it might take a few tries it might take a little while to you might fail sometimes you might go back to that thing you might you might fail in your diet you might you know have a bad day it doesn't matter just keep getting back up just keep getting back up just keep getting back up and then before you know it you'll actually be on the other side of it you'll actually be on the other side of it where this thing doesn't have a hold of you anymore where you don't desire to go back to that toxic person where you don't desire this uh, you know cigarette or whatever it is that you're trying to quit you won't desire it anymore and that's what spirit's saying is like hold out for that because it's not going to be hard the whole time right at the beginning is the hardest right at the beginning is the hardest when you first leave when you first end an addiction it's the hardest right but over time, it gets easier and easier and easier and spirit is there for you. I'm definitely feeling a message if you are going through some kind of a health issue, you can 100% heal from this spirit wants you to know that. And if you're going through, you know, unhealthy relationships, spirit wants you to know you can have healthy relationships. Like a part of you might feel like giving up or, you know, feeling a bit jaded about how hard things have been in a certain way. And spirit wants you to know that it can be healed and it can be overcome and you will heal from this like whatever it is it can be overcome no matter how big it is or how you know bad the prognosis is right spirit is saying you can overcome it and part of it is by digging deep and realizing that you can realize like it's almost like um i feel like you're feeling inspired naturally to this energy right now like towards discipline or towards like digging deep and like fighting for something or like trying again and realizing like hey i can i can I can do this or I can do something about this. Yeah, it's like taking responsibility for what it is that you can control in your life and then doing that, you know, making the right choices with the things that you can control, that you do have power over, which isn't, you know, everything. <laughs> so much of things manifesting is really subconscious, you know. So 
the inspiration that you're having right now to like use that discipline in some way spirit saying that is gifted by the divine <laughs> it's really going to help you because you need that sense of motivation at the beginning and it's coming from a divine place you know you're not you're not quitting this thing out of shame right because a lot of the time like you know people might try to quit some kind of an addiction out of this sense of shame and and they they hate themselves for it or something like that but spirit saying that's never the way to overcome these sorts of things in life we have to come at it through love because that actually gives us the you know that sets us up for success um going through the the process and and you know having to keep coming maybe you know with addictions and 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 toxic relationships are similar in a way there's often cycles that we have to go through and we have to you know sometimes relapse and that can be really hard right to mentally overcome that sense of oh my god again and again and again but <clears throat> spirit saying that spirit is with you and spirit's helping you to dig deep right now so that you can be lifted out of this pattern of again and again and again and you're going to be able to overcome it and you're not gonna it's not gonna have hold of you hold over you anymore it just won't it just won't have hold over you anymore and there won't be that sense of temptation always there right of wanting to go back or a part of you wanting to go back so you're really overcoming this you're really overcoming this and you're manifesting a sense of complete freedom freedom from all addictions in your life that's what you're manifesting okay freedom from all addictions in your life and you're doing this from a place of love and from a place of worthiness from a place of realizing like hey i deserve to live in my life with freedom and with peace and with happiness and to feel you know okay and and that's and and i deserve health right i deserve health in all areas i deserve my health i deserve to reclaim my health i deserve to reclaim my power so it's coming from a place of deserving and a place of, and it's so beautiful and it's just like bubbling up within you right now. I'm feeling this sense of this worthiness is within you already, like this, this frequency. Yeah, look, this frequency of worthiness is already within you and it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then as this feeling gets bigger and bigger, your addictions and all of those things, like whatever it is that you're going through, that's or whatever, like your health issue, like it's different for every person, you know? So just apply it to whatever's resonating for you. But whatever that is, it's going to start to diminish. You're gonna get healthier. You're gonna feel freer. You're not gonna have this thing holding you back anymore. And like I said, then you're just gonna to wanna to go out on an adventure and just experience life. Like you might wanna go skydiving or like go traveling and, and to ex somewhere you've never been before. I never thought you would have the courage to go to. Like you're gonna feel so much courage is what I'm feeling actually. A sense of courage to live life because you nurtured yourself out of such a dark place and such a hard, hard place and again spirit wants to reiterate the message that you do this through love not through shame because a lot of the time again people can try to quit addictions or toxic things from a place of shame because it's like i hate myself i can't live with this anymore and spirit's saying no we want to quit we want to leave toxic things from a place of love from a place of i love myself i can't live with this anymore i, ne I deserve better and that really gives us that connection to the divine and spirit's really like offering you a hand right now and is going to help pull you out of this whatever it is for you and really help you overcome this and whatever it is like it's going to be so solid at the end of it <clears throat> it's not going to be something that you're going to fear that you're going to relapse in back into or that you're going to gain all the weight back after you lost it or that you're going to have a health relapse and you know or whatever it is you're going to feel at the end of this journey of like whatever it, this healing process is for you getting rid of this toxic stuff in your life and, and healing a health issue getting over an addiction healing from toxic relationship patterns abusive relationship patterns wow it's, it's going to feel like a completely different life when you don't have this in in like taking up so much of your time and, and almost like stealing so much of your life force and your ability to live fully and, and fu fully live and that's what i'm seeing is different for you is like you're going to be living really full really fully <laughs> and again doing things that maybe you have wanted to do since you were a kid or that a child would really like like i keep seeing amusement parks and i see adventuring i see like going out like you want to do mountaineering you want to push yourself you want to do extreme travel or extreme sports or <laughs> like really living life to the fullest to the edge of, of what is possible with within this reality and really playing in this reality that's what i'm seeing like your ability to play and your courage to try new things your courage to live life fully and i'm thinking as well now I'm seeing this Leo energy because I'm with courage and there's a heart. I'm seeing a lion. I'm seeing lion and I'm seeing you shining and I'm seeing you being an example for others as well. Like other people really 
looking to you and be like, wow, you did this. You got yourself out of that. I'm in that. I need, I need to get myself like, and realizing that they can too get themselves out. They can too heal. They can too have health. Wow. This is going to be such an inspiring energy when you, like you are an inspiration already group three, because you're already on this path and you're already nurturing this frequency of worthiness within yourself. It's so powerful. It's so amazing. It's so from a place of love. And that's how you know that it's permanent. That's how you know that this change, this healing is permanent. This health that you're going to manifest is permanent. This healthy relationship is permanent because it's coming from a place of love and worthiness. So keep focused, spirit saying, keep focused on what it is that you're doing right now, because it's really working. And I'm seeing again that the divine has your like is really on your side with this is really helping you with what it is that you need. Keep praying, keep allowing that divine assistance. You're going to be feeling really strong. I'm seeing you on some kind of you're going to be on some kind of stage or like and metaphorically, it might be for some people literally on a stage telling your story, but it might like spirit wants to elevate you to be an example because of your strength, because you had the strength to do this when so many people don't feel that they have that and you do and you have the strength to heal and to overcome something maybe something that people thought was impossible even to over overcome like a health diagnosis where someone said you know the doctor gave you only a certain amount of time left and you overcame all the odds and you completely healed and you live a full life and you run marathons and you <laughs> do all this stuff like these stories exist this is possible and this is your path this is the timeline that now you are stepping into where it's like you're going to be such an inspiration to the world and you're going to show people something that is possible that they might not really feel is possible or that very few people manage to achieve very few people maybe manage to defeat all of these odds and turn it around and and become this success story so yes you're going to be elevated your story will be known whether it's within your personal community or if it's at a wide on a wider platform which a lot of you i feel like will be feeling that courageous energy of wanting to share. Like <clears throat> there's something about your story that you will want to share. You'll actually want to share it. There, you, won't, you won't want to keep it quiet. <laughs> it will feel really important to you to share it from your heart. And I think it's because you know that it will activate other people and you know that it will activate these seeds where people are like, wow, this is actually possible for me. And this frequency like that you have within you that you're nurturing right now, this frequency of healing from a place of love and it's like so powerful this it's like you're going to activate this for other people you're going to be such a source of inspiration and other people are almost going to use your energy to focus on to meditate on as they're going through their own journey of you know the dark night of the soul of facing the shadow of, of facing addiction or whatever it is overcoming some really dark illness like that's really hard to to face that you know it can bring up such intense emotions so you've really you're really going through this process and and there's some kind of huge sort of reveal that you're going to have about it like you're going to start living life to such a huge extent and you're going to be such a success story and you're going to be sort of revealed to the world in some kind of way maybe um like you tell you reveal to someone maybe the solution that they're looking for is what i'm getting as well you show people again like through your frequency that that is possible and you create this magnetic field where it's like you've achieved something and it makes it easier for other people to come along and achieve it because you've already magnetized this energy and people again realize like wow this is actually possible and it and it accelerates their own journey through seeing you having achieved it, it actually accelerates their own journey towards achieving what it is that you've achieved in terms of healing and health so this is an incredible like you are really um going like your story you're going to be elevated by the angels like you're going to be healing the world through your story through your through your ability through your strength like it really comes back down to strength and the leo energy right it comes from your heart the strength you have comes from your heart the strength that you have to overcome whatever it is that you are overcoming right now is coming straight from your heart is coming from love and that's what makes it so powerful and so permanent and you're going to be showing that to the world you're going to be teaching that to the world you're going to be the example in which many 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 people end up being activated by you and end up change like you're going to change the course of people's lives group three your energy is going to be like a frequency coming into their life which changes it changes their destiny 
They are forever changed after meeting you, after hearing your story, after learning about your transformation, after learning about what you what it is that you overcame in this life. They are forever changed. Like their whole destiny from that moment on is changed because you have this frequency, this very special frequency, and you activate people with it. And you've been gifted this frequency by the divine and you're nurturing it now and trust this, trust this and go with this because it's taking you to like the most beautiful place imaginable for yourself. Okay, wow. <laughs> so that's what you're manifesting, group number three. <laughs> you're amazing and I'm sending you so much love on your path and I'll see you in another video, okay? Bye.